Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Heads Up. So we're here against a guy from Russia. All hail the motherland. Um, first hand, so we want to get some information. Uh, guy seems to be an aggressive idiot. Um, uh, sure. We're an aggressive idiot, as I said. Uh, plays really high hands. So we'll raise again, see what he does. He just calls this time. We got middle pair. Um, so I, I'm not putting him on an ace because he just called and indeed he falls. Like what's the point in being aggressive when it's not gonna gain value? Uh, maybe he had two really good hands. So we have a flush draw here, we'll call. Uh, we still have a flush draw with now on a paired board. We hit our 9 which is probably good. Yep. Uh, raise it up. He he folded to our previous C bit, but I feel like he's gonna call here. Or re raise at least. Like he, he paused for a while, yeah, indeed. So I did have the correct reader. Um he might not have had a had had a hand, but um we'll never know. Uh Queen ten obviously do the standard raise again, he just calls. Uh we flop a pretty sick hand. Uh let's re raise him. He instant folded, so he clearly didn't have anything. Uh, it's because we, yeah, we have a king, man. I'm gonna call. Uh, we actually have the eight, so assume our hand is good. So we're gonna go to 240 here, and he folds. Uh, so again, um, being aggressive is just gonna cost you ships if your opponent is willing to play back at you a bit, or um, just bets his hands that it's made. He now gives me a free flop. We totally miss. We have a gut shot. Which let me draw into uh, we pair our six, which is probably good, but I'm not willing to bet. If I have Jack all fold, check. Uh, we got top pair, so I'll lead out here. Um, it is a bit of a weak hand. Eight six, I'll play. And he has stopped sea betting, like maybe he just sea bets uh, or three bets me with a with an ace. Um, he limped, so he probably doesn't have an ace. Uh, the six does scare me though, uh, especially now. Like he he could easily just have an eight high. Um, he could have a three, like a three or an ace is what he could have. I'm I'm just willing to see. He did indeed have an ace. I'm I'm surprised he limped with an ace there. So he limped with an ace, a weak ace basically. What the hell does he three bet with? Uh he folded to our queen's pre flop. Oh. Uh -huh. We didn't even do something. It's it's always sad when you have a really good hand and you get your opponent just folded. Uh so there's a bunch of folding here. We have uh suited connectors. He just calls. Uh, we have bottom pair and open ender. Uh, it's a really dangerous board, so it's hard for him to continue there. And indeed, he does give it up. 10-8 uh, again. Like, this is the next time we got that. Um, it's a pretty wet board. Let's let's make it seem like an overbet, but he does fall to it. Uh, there were flush draws, there were straight draws out there. We have a king on the bottom, so we'll raise it up. And he folded. So he toned down his aggression now. I have no clue why. Uh, maybe he he thought um, maybe it's uh, just some tactic where they wait. What I went to sixty. <laughs> that was an accident. Um, maybe they just feel like uh, being aggressive against some players win, and when they realize it's not working, they um, give it up or they stop doing that. Uh, Jack seven uh, mm, depends on his bet, but. And they change their their tactic, which is obviously correct. Um, you can't always play like you should. Um, he's calling me, so he could easily just have a four here or an open under with a five. But he's willing to give it up, uh, especially since we bet twice. Uh, he just limps, so I'm going to see a flop with five four and give it up. Um, I feel like that's a bluff, but. <laughs> Um, it's not a, a hand I, I want to continue. Uh, again a 3 bet. It has been a while so he probably had something good and I had 2-3 suited. 
Uh, he goes to 60 and I'll play once. Um, 977 really isn't that great. He should see a bit here. Uh, yeah. I think it's really hard for me to continue without an ace or a king or a 9 or a 7, of course. But um, So he's. No, he didn't pick up an aggression again. So we'll see a bit. Uh, maybe a bit too high. Probably could have gone with 45 as well. Um, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I was thinking about uh, bluffing him here. Like, it, it doesn't seem likely that he actually hit that. Um, but what am I gonna get called by, right? Uh, it's basically just trying to end the pot there. So yeah, he does vary his aggression, so let's just play um, normally. Uh, we get pocket kings here. And he falls to it. It's a guy from Russia, maybe he's cheating. <laughs> um, and that's why it's kings and then queens he falls to, so... Uh, King 3, I'm not gonna continue for 60. Uh, could easily be dominated, could easily be crushed. Um, we get a5, so gonna make the standard button raise, which he falls to. This seems to be going up quite well. Uh, Jack 3, I hate, especially if it goes to 3x. 5-4, uh, I'll fold. I do not like at this point. King Queen, I do like. Um, so let's go to 85 here. He makes the insta call. Um, so we can represent the ace here, and he gives it up so he didn't have the ace. Uh, we were the pre flop aggressor with our re raise, and he could easily put, it, uh, put us on an ace there. Um, we have pocket threes, uh, but he folded. Ace queen, so we'll go a bit higher than 60 this time. He calls. Uh, this is a flop that could have easily hit us. Uh, it obviously could have easily hit him with the king, but as soon as one card comes there and you're the pre-flop aggressor, you should see that. Um, obviously, if he plays back at me, I, I can give it up, but... Uh, he leads out on such a flop, so I assume he has a decent hand. That's uh, the very first time he does that, and I, I just had trash. I, I didn't even know why he didn't fault pre-flop. 10-6, uh, I'll fault here. Blinds are a bit higher though. Uh, King 5 will actually play, especially since he, seeing that it's suited. Um, we totally miss, I assume he missed as well, but um, he does it half pot size. So let's go to 260. He either calls or he folds. I mean, we did call it 60, we, we do fold to it a lot. Uh, we'll fold here then. Uh, a3 will fold. So we did lose a bunch of ships there, but I have no clue what he could have had. Probably a pair with a decent kicker or a flush draw. Um, but it still had my hand beat, like I was just totally bluffing there or trying to uh, still pick up the pot. It did put me behind in ships, but not by a lot. Of, but not by a lot, so should be going fine here. Uh, seven eight suited. He gives me a free flop. Obviously gonna take it. Six makes me nuts, but um, we pair eight, and he folds. So he gives me the the flop. Uh, it gives me the pot. Um, a queen on the button make the raise. He just folds. Uh, ten nine wanna see a flop depending on his size. If he goes to ninety, I probably still wanna see a flop. Uh, but he folded there. What was he thinking about? Uh, queen 4 I'll fold, like previously I uh, raised with queen, uh, now I fold it. Uh, it's all dependent of course. Uh, he's willing to fold a lot of hands, so so, so, so should I. Uh, Jack 9, wanna see a flop, he just folds again. And his, his multitude of folding is just getting us back uh, even. Uh, queen 7, a bit better than the queen 4 previously, he calls here. It's a pretty dangerous flop that could have easily hit I drop us. Uh, he insta calls, so I assume he has a king here. Um, he's gonna bet his king, and I'll fall to it. Like he could have easily just had an ace as well and tried to exact value. Um, I was just there on thin air. Uh, nine six two that I'm willing to see a flop. Uh, totally miss this, so I'm gonna fall to his c bet, which is a bit higher than sometimes. Like normally he goes ninety. Um, pocket sixes, so let's go to seventy five. 
he folds. Like you don't want to slow play pocket sixes. You maybe want to get it all in, but uh, he mean raises. I'm gonna call with a pretty good hand. Um, I'm gonna re-raise him here and see what he does. Uh, it's a pretty high re-raise, and yeah, he does fall to it. We had one over and a fl second nut flush, uh, king on the button, so he folds, and we're back close to being even. Uh, Ace king. Please make it a bit higher. We have a strong hand, and he folds. Well, someone said to me you don't want to slow play hands in heads up, and I do agree to some part. Like, can easily get out run if you if you slow play uh, some things, but. Um, sometimes you just want to write. Um, let's say you still play aces and you're like, yeah, you let your opponent draw into it. Your opponent's pre flop always is behind. Uh, he's been doing it a bit more going up to 90, so I probably have to uh, loosen up a bit, like call a bit easier. But I mean, he's holding his small blinds as well, and his big blinds even, uh, and his yellow buttons. 5 uh, 8 all fold. This this is gonna be a decent long video. It it has been going up pretty even uh, for now. Uh, lots of folding, lots of uh, pre-flop play as well. He's thinking about this. Yeah, he has a he has a strong hand, or he wants to represent a strong hand. Doesn't matter if he had it or not. Um, so again, picking up on aggression, I guess, or just getting decent hands. All folds for twos as well here. Um, at some point you have to make a stand, like 9 do, so I'll just make a stand here and seeing that he, um, like we're representing either a flash draw here or something, but he just gave us back so many ships. Uh, Jack Queen, strong hand. The problem is with, now we, we got middle pair, so we'll call there. Uh, we now have a 10 for the nuts. Uh, he's just check, so I, won't, I just want to see what he has. He either has an ace or he doesn't. Um, so yeah, I just tried to take the pot on a board like that. We actually had something. Uh, there was a possibility to extract value from him, but... Uh, so blinds went up again. His aggression now is gonna be pretty expensive for me sometimes. Pr sometimes pretty expensive for him. It all depends on the hands. Uh, so we have pocket aces. Uh, I don't think we want to slow play them. If he wants to shove, he wants to shove. Uh, he falls to him. He falls to my tree, but I mean, it's I don't tree that often. Um, and he probably didn't have such a good hand because I had aces. Like, if you slow play his aces there, yes, you can be outdrawn. But what are the odds of being outdrawn? You want your opponent to make a hand, don't you? Um, he falls to it. Like I, I actually expected a tree better. Uh, but at this point, your aggression should go up just because you want to steal blinds. Uh, not stealing blinds is, is pretty bad, but you do need hands, of course. Um, so we'll call here, we have queen 10. Uh, we'll check call, I think, or check re-raise. Um, that's a bit high, though. Um, well, considering the pot, it isn't, but like, I have nothing and I can just uh, get there with... Mm. Yeah, let's fault. Like he three bets again, he's willing to commit a lot of ships. Uh, I'm not with some hands. Maybe I should three bet a bit lighter, like with an ace. Uh, let's see if he three bets. If he does, it's gonna cost him. Uh, let's raise it up to 650. Uh, we do have a strong ace. We're basically committing ourselves here. Uh, he had a stronger ace. We now have a flesh draw. We need to hit our nine. We hit our nine. Um, so very sorry to our opponent. He had a stronger hand. If he shoves him or insta calling, I've king queen. Uh, three eight of fold. I'm not willing to go all in with that. Like any king, any ace, uh, I'm calling an all in. Uh, I haven't dominated. Uh, I haven't crushed at this point. Uh, it's over. So we got lucky there. Um, opponent played really good. And thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.